I now call on the last count, Corla, to move and that the bill be now read a second time. Got a market and I so move. Thank you. Got a market. Ten minutes, last count, Corla. Got a meeting market to call here. August thought the privilege, August the regret that him and Bill is shot a carus corner dollar a new August and Runa waga go lefer and Bill and that a ur is Bill a giare. August is a a thay gish no lassia a carlish and courts riaga a thay tif here then act of ibernok riaga on courts er will on a thakat of shot bunnyha. But the Dutch me is Bill a giare August nearly gish a shot veer. The Royal Irish, the Royal Hibernian Academy Amendment of Charter Bill 2023 is a private bill to amend the governing charter of the Royal Hibernian Academy, known as the RHA. The standing orders governing private bills designate, designate me as Las Corla to be the member in charge of the bill during its passage through the Dáil. And it is for this reason I am moving the motion on the second read. Interestingly, the RHA was set up or originally incorporated by Royal Charter in 1823 and a further Royal Charter was granted in 1861. So we're talking about a Royal Charter before and after the Great Famine. The granting or amendment of the RHA's Charter was once a prerogative power of the Royal Sovereign. And but since independence, this power, as we know, has been vested in the Oireachtas and is exercised by means of a private will, which I have the privilege of putting through the doll today with your cooperation. The bill will increase the membership of the RHA and remove some of the outdated provisions of the 1861 Charter, which the RHA considers are no longer relevant. The 1861 Charter provided that the RHA would consist of 30 members who would in turn appoint up to 10 artists to join the RHA as associated. The members of the RHA are of the view that there is a growing population of younger artists in Ireland and it is desirable to expand its membership to include this new cohort. And for this reason, Section 2 of the Bill increases the membership from 30 to 55. The Bill makes, also makes several other reforms to the Charter. Section 3 creates a new permanent position of Keeper in addition to the President, the Treasurer and Secretary. And the position of keeper is provided for already in the bylaws as the person who is responsible for the care of the RHA's works of art and our property, I beg your pardon, works of art or property confined to its care. <coughs> Section 4 removes the limit of a yearly value of £1,000 on the value of assets which may be purchased by or given to the RHA. Section 5 replaces the qualifying profession of engravers with the profession of printmakers. Section 6 removes the geographic limit on the holding of meetings within the city of Dublin or 10 miles thereof. And finally, Section 7 replaces the quorum in the event of the absence of the president for the purposes of electing a vice president from nine or more members to one third or more members. And I commend the bill to the House. I just mark up the score, but what them kid me lefolche a car revenue kuchori a thaw who's styra a branu a gizagesh the clin a gizgaharid Abigail O'Brien, President of the RHA, Patrick Murphy, Director of the RHA, Andrew Folan, Secretary of the RHA, and James Handley, Council Member. And I understand that they are also accompanied by uh, this a team of solicitors. Are members of the Solicitor's Office. Got a meal, Maka.